What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind me is the new Golf 8. This is the Style Package 2.0 TDI, new DSG, yes. I'm really impressed with this car. I wanna show it to you in depth. Exterior, interior, uh, infotainment, all the details now that I've tested it on the road and not just into the salon. There will be a separate in-depth review of the salon style package and the ambition package this is the style package a little bit different than one in the salon so let's jump into the review if you're new to this channel welcome to my in-depth reviews where i show you all the functionalities you're looking for when you're buying a new car so make sure to subscribe to this channel click that bell to get notifications when i upload a new video and always leave your comments below i like to hear your opinions about the cars i review what do you like about them what do you dislike about them and be a cool person give this video a massive like it helps me more than you think okay so let's take a look of the new golf so this is the key we have the lock unlock button on the bottom and to just unlock the trunk so it won't pop up on the back of the volkswagen badge the key is thin but it's heavy enough i would say it is a little bit shiny so it might get scratched in the future so you might get a you know silicone sleeve for it uh if you press here you can pull out this is the physical key that comes out so uh, this is the style package 2.0 TDI as I mentioned 150 horsepower DSG Now if I unlock the car I'm gonna see those dynamic uh, LED lights the mirrors unfold and We have the uh, LED lights so top lights look really nice So let's come a little bit closer now on the top you have daytime running light and then you have on the uh, outside uh, facing light you have the led uh, daytime running light as well i'm not sure why the middle uh, two lights don't have that kind of look better in my opinion what do you think leave a comment below now uh, this is some sort of gold yellowish color uh, i don't know the exact name uh, you get a little chrome line on the style package and then they get this in uh, the color of the of the vehicle uh, the car locked itself because it didn't enter uh, inside anyway tell me what do you think this is my taste but i would like this black maybe honestly uh, i know you can wrap it black but kind of would give it a little bit more aggressive uh look now uh air intake is on the bottom just a little bit on the top i don't not even sure if it's a real intake now you might notice on the side over there there is no air intake anymore for cooling the brakes because the new research uh, says that uh, air exiting on the side is creating a drag so this car has the less drag than the previous generation so this is the 8 then the 7 and um, it's more efficient so that's the reason why there isn't any more side tunneling now um, I mean the beautiful nature so you might hear some water there's a creek next to me we're in Croatia if you're new to this channel I'm not American I just have an American accent coming closer I want to show you now standard we have the camera for the lane assist you have the rain sensor um, and I think on the mirror there might be center for incoming traffic and you might have a light right uh, light sensor now the mirrors fold and uh, personally I'd like them to just get in and not tilt upwards that's just my personal opinion I have a little window here that doesn't uh, open with a door I'm gonna show you that in a moment on the style you get this trim here this badge on the life you don't um, but if I unlock the car again the mirror will unfold and then you can see the new design of the mirror I still have the blinker um, there's this air uh, here I mean when you're driving you can still hear some uh, wind noise coming from the mirrors but also look at this there is a little light here that projects uh, in the night over here something so on the bottom and uh, this mirror doesn't have the physical blind spot the other one does but I just wanted to show you that uh, now all the lights have here when you open the car well it's daytime so it won't open now but you have on the both door handles uh, these lights and the front have sensors so the back doesn't so you have a key in your pocket actually I can just leave the key in my pocket now so if I press here uh, well the car isn't locked now but let me just show you if I lock the car you can see the mirrors are gonna fold 
hear that click sound. And if I want to unlock them, I just press here and they get unlocked. I press again, uh, it can lock. So, uh, anyways, I wanted to show you this 18 inch alloy wheels. Beautiful design. You get standard 17 inch on the style package, at least here in Croatia. But I'm pretty sure about the uh, you know, wheel di uh, dimension is gonna be the same. And in the life pack, you get 16 inch. Now I'm really impressed with the suspension of this car. It is really soft when you're just in uh, dynamic driving. You can switch to sport. Uh, it's a little bit stiffer, but a really comfortable considering we're on 18 inch alloy wheels. And they're really quiet considering this is a winter tire still. In Croatia, we still have it um, for about uh, two, three weeks of mandatory winter uh, equipment. Moving on, uh, since this is, car just locked, since this is the lock it, since this is the diesel, just wanted to show you. So you get the add glue and get this feature. So if you're, you know, you can put it here when you're refueling so it doesn't flop around and scratch your clear coat and it's nice, it just pops open and when you press it, when you lock the car, it gets locked. On the back, we have IQ lights. So these are the full LED lights. These are the dynamic uh, turn signals. So I'm just gonna show you if I unlock the car again. You can see those dynamic turn signals, really beautiful. Now, if you press the unlock button, it just unlocks the trunk. So you have to, you know, press it here and then pull it up. And then you get the same 380 liter trunk space and it opens tall, uh, the entrance is wide um, and you know, it's decent. So this is my bag for the comparison. Uh, when I remove it, this is how it looks. Now you can uh, knock down the seats 60-40 uh, and you can knock down the middle uh, hatch, I mean, middle, middle uh, room to get uh, maybe skis or some longer objects, golf clubs perhaps. Um, now this is a nice feature, if I put my bag like this, you pull this up, watch that little guy right there. So you have these guys on both sides and so I'm not sure why it tilted, maybe because the car got below, but uh, you can put it up. I wish they put it LEDs like an old Audi A3s, that would be a nice detail, but you only have one LED on the right side, nothing on the left. You have um, decent storage over there. You have uh, latch points. And now there's a smaller dimension spare tire. And these are some carpetings, first aid and stuff like that. This is a fire extinguisher. So if you put it flat like this, uh, tether points, grocery hooks on both sides, really nice. But let me just take this out. And well, since I have this uh, first aid thing, I can show it to you. But you can pull down this and it slides. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a try like this. So give it a thumbs up for my effort. So if you push it like that, you can see now we have a deeper trunk space and it goes deeper inside as well. So you have like almost five fingers, almost extra five fingers of space. So it gives you a little bit more if you need to carry stuff. On the top, you have a emergency triangle that's in this bag, blue bag, and first aid uh, in Croatia. But you know, you can put, put, put um, <laughs> grab here, excuse me, uh, and just close a big space over here. So you can put maybe an umbrella or something, small umbrella, and good closing sound as always on the Golf. Now, there is no any more fake exhaust. All of this chrome does kind of remind of an exhaust but it's not a hole inside so on the life package you don't get that chrome it's a little bit different and if i get really low maybe you can see the real um two pipes that are on the side let me just play with my tr yeah you can see it there and then this isn't actually a vent so uh that's good uh, on the bottom led license plates for your, yeah, and then little reflectors, parking sensors, uh, front and rear, and a little spoiler that extends 
little tunneling here. Nice stoplight, I like that. And then a nice little bit different shark fin. Now this is a metallic color, so, uh, and also on the side you get the chrome line. I think the rear windows tinted are extra option. And now to know that your uh, the windows are factory tinted, you can always check, you have to have the V sign. So that means it's factory tinted. So um, let me just, I don't have my microphone, so I'm using my iPhone microphone, but the door closing sound is good. The isolation uh, inside the cabin is perfect in my opinion. You have a seal, one going on the exterior of the door, one on the interior. So it kind of creates a double ceiling. These are cloth um, seats. Now, I would say these aren't bad. Look at this, this is cloth, a little contrast white stitching. And then you have some sort of satin finish. It's almost like Alcantara, but I think it's not, maybe just satin. Uh, and you have this rhomboid um, or triangular um, pattern stitching. It really looks nice. And then if you put the seat down, it still works the same way. You can have this flat. Now we've put it a little bit downwards, but it's still it's nice, it's connected here. And then, push it back here now the seats go in the side deep and then for the back as well you can always push these and lock them in place you can just press here and then if you just push it down you can put it down now the doors on the back uh, are cheap plastic on the front it's soft so there are some little bit savings here but really with all those features that car has you really forget about that fast uh, nice chrome-ish, although I think it's plastic uh, door handles, but they look nice finish. Um, a little chrome on the power windows. Now, LED light on the bottom. It's a really nice addition in this car. It's standard now, ambient lights. And then this, this really pops up at night. It looks really nice and premium. Now, you have carpeting here, really big uh, bottle spaces. A little bit texture for the speakers. This looks really nice, design-wise, but it's all stiff, robust, but it's just cheap plastic. And on the bottom, could be maybe aluminum on the style, but still plastic. Doesn't matter. You can see those ambient lights a little bit now on the top. Let's jump inside. Talking too much. Now, it might appear, oof, I don't have space. Look at this. So, these are electric seats, so I'm just going to forward a bit and a little more okay so this is my driving position maybe even even a little bit more forward now when you enter the car the seat pushes uh, back for you to easier to enter on the driver's spot and then it comes back to your memory position you can see plenty of space also ambient light and we have a pocket here two pockets here maybe for your smartphones same principle for the uh, headrest and we have AC on the back so as you can see here this is pushed to the side it's closed you hear a click sound this is open and then you can adjust the AC vents you can see here again this is closed this is opened so and then you can press here you get a little um, digital screen here for the temperature on the bottom two USB C chargers. I wish they left a maybe an ANC for the transition area. Now I must say the seats are comfortable. You do have a um, two cup holders. Uh, they're kind of rubbery and it go like inside a little bit wobbly, uh, but that doesn't feel cheap. It feels okay. And then. Again, the middle armrest. Then you have this telescope uh, middle headrest, but I would put it down so you can see better behind yourself. And okay, is oh, okay, um, and of course you can open it from the outside. Um, yeah. So I am two meters tall, or six point six in um, that would be imperial. This is metric, yes. So um, enough knee room, but. Head, I am touching, to be fair, but I am out of over, av more than average person tall, so average person should be fine on the back seat. And look, if I was average, I'd have plenty of space. 
I really can't complain since I'm a little bit taller. And of course, uh, on the all positions, you have those, you have uh, little hooks here. Uh, they're not on the B pillar, just over here. And then you have this lights. When you press one of these, well, the car needs to be on in case when I open the door, you have LEDs, but look at this. You can press it here, it's touch sensitive. So it turns on or off, really nice. And I wanted to show you, look, this ambient lights, lights look so nice. When you put something inside here, it's just excellent. Although I haven't tested the car yet in the night, but it just looks so good. Now, closing sound, such a good closing sound. I really love this car, but I've noticed when someone was closing in the salon, there was a little bit rattle at the back door, maybe because I was in a big open space. I'm not sure on that. So. And just to show you a little detail here, so for the child seats, you don't remove these anymore. Just, just go down and then you lock the seats so you don't have to worry to lose these. That's really nice. Of course, you have an anchor here uh, for the child seat behind the uh, front passenger. And I think that's it. This is the look on the back. You only have one speaker on the bottom and then one, two uh, speakers, uh, one in the A pillar. One for the driver and one in the middle. This is the look of the front, just beautiful and minimalist, uh, I would say. So let's jump on the front. You can always, you know, adjust your seat belts here. So exiting. Now the car was washed, I noticed, and there is water drips inside. So a little bit in here. So as you can see, so have that in mind when you're washing the car. There might be some water going in. So the front. I mean, the driver's door handle has a physical key. Uh, the other ones don't have, so when you open it, you can still see it. And just to show you here on the mirror, as mentioned, blind spot on the mirror. Now, front seal is different. You still have the inside seal. This one ends here, and there's nothing over here because there is this seal, so it's pretty convenient. So I, my, my experience with a car, good sound improve, soundproof. Try pressure information for your all your tire dimensions and uh, like considering the passenger and the load. When you have a load and a lot of passengers, you need to have a high pressure on the back because if you need to turn really fast uh, to avoid something, it's big difference. It's a lifesaver if the pressure is higher on the back. So front. Uh, this is still nice and long, so you can you know lean in when you're sitting. You have here the, when the car is locked. This is the lock and unlock buttons. So soft plastic on the top. It's actually, just it's a sponge behind that. Uh, nice trim. This is dark, as you can see here. You can get it in, in a maybe light or something different, depending on the package. And still, uh, you know, uh, folded and heated mirrors. And if you put it to uh, right mirror, if you put it to reverse, the mirror will dip down so you can see you're parking better. And this is all robust. This is nice cushion here. Look at this big carpeting. That's nice. There is no rattling inside, although the bottle isn't really fixed. There's nothing like in the Audi like lines here to fix it, but it's just massive. Look at this. Look how much space you have here. And yes, there's an ambient light below. So I'm really impressed with that. Um, there is step no aluminium, uh, no sport paddles. Uh, we're gonna open the front trunk later. And these are the seats. Uh, these are not the sport seats, these are the standard seats you get. And look at this, bolsters on the side are really tall, they grip you. The front seat has the extendable knee area. There's like two levels. The passenger doesn't have it, so this car is more focused on the driver. You can even see that the screens are tilted towards the driver. And then you have the Ergo Comfort seats, and uh, you have two memory seats, and you can press this, so you can see the seat moves in or out. So you can keep pressing this, and it and it acts as a massage function in a way. Of course, electronic seats up, and down, back and forward. Uh, Lumble, and that's pretty much it. So uh, let's jump inside. So I'm going to show you the other details. Of course, steering wheel, you can unlock it here, it goes inside, up, and down, uh, inside, out, yeah, everything. So, only detail I wish they covered this maybe with a 
rubber caps, but that's a minor thing. Um, a little bit OCD here. Uh, little windows are a nice addition for the overview around the car. In this model, you have probably extra option, the blind spot warning. So once again, closing of the door, as you can see that the seat has went back. So, okay. Um, let me switch to the wide lens. Okay, so this is the cockpit and it really looks nice. I like the new design. It is a little bit minimalist. And I will tell you what I dislike and what I like. I like it's facing the driver. This is a driver focused car, but I'm gonna zoom in back and on the screen, it's just a big screen, 10 inch screen. I think almost, this is not 10 inch, this is a little smaller, but I wish only I had physical buttons on the side and maybe a knob. And then for the AC, you know, those rollers, that was really nice. Although you do have voice commands, we're gonna test. You can control the AC, I just like that more. When I was driving the car, um, you know, this for the AC, it's fine, but then I have to look at the temperature. There's no like one turn, you know, one, one, uh, that, um, tooth, you know, click and you know, it's one degree or half a degree of climate. That's, that's all. And, you know, it's easier just to press a button and go to navigation rather than watching your screen. Because when you're in the city, it's fine. You have the, excuse me, when you're on the highway, it's fine. You have the lane assist. Uh, in a you know distance uh, for the radar, but when you're in the city, I just don't like that. I don't like using the screen. That is my only only um, complaint about this car: not having physical buttons for the AC and for the screen like shortcuts. Although you do have these shortcuts, you know, and they're nice. Sometimes they uh, refuse to work. Usually work like 90% of the time. The Solano was working perfectly. Okay, so let's start from the steering wheel so a nice round steering wheel for the flat bottom and it's a nice soft leather this is not real leather there is no more real leather in car industry it's all artificial but it feels natural uh, it lasts long it's softer and it's nice so you have black stitching um well piano finish here doesn't um, bother me that, that much what bothers me is there's no physical like a roller like an audi skoda or say at the Volkswagen decided like, huh, let's not put rollers, just let's put buttons. So, hmm, I like that. The steering wheel is a little bit um, thicker uh, and I like it a little bit more thinner, personally, just my personal choice, but it feels nice in the hand when you're holding it, uh, you know, and yeah, so it has this little uh, things here. And since it, this is the automatic, you have the plus and the minus, if you hold the Plus, it turns off and switches back to the automatic gear. And now, yeah, another thing that I dislike is this piano finish. So I'd rather have something like mate finish or, but I know the screens are glossy. They could have put them them not being glossy like mate. And, but this gives the car a little bit more shininess. Yeah, I know. But when, when you have fingernails, my, mine are short now, but it's going to scratch these stuff. This... This probably not, but you know, stuff like that might get scratched. So look at this, no piano finish. That's what I like, Volkswagen. That's what I want to see on the top. And it's going to look good. Just don't put the shiny screen and then I'll have a less glare. So leave your comment below. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Okay, so let's continue on. Now I wanted to show you the light switches. So um, you have this like physical for the lights and over here, as you can see, blinker. I'm uh, not sure what these two lights are, but you can see the engine and on the other side on the right. So yeah, and still the vents are nice, but they're a little bit lower now. They're blowing into you. So if you want to close them, just push it to the side, but it's, you know, it's nice. And then these two as well and the other one. Now I'm going a little here uh, all over the place. So I'm going to show you this. This is nice, although this, this is just, you know, um, plastic there's no carpeting anymore for some reason it's a decent space and i have my glasses here that i'm gonna pull out not to forget because i want to show you something that i think it's really important and all the car reviews are not going to mention this so you have a little light uh in here with the car it's on no ac compartment anymore to cool your drinks for some reason um i like that feature back 
And on the top of the dash, you have here uh, air going size. There's a speaker, as mentioned, on the A pillar and on the bottom in the door. And there is a large speaker over here, light sensor, and there is a air vent over there. So it's a pretty nice design. All the cockpit is just nice. This is going nice. And, and the seats, the seats are comfortable. These are the front seats once again. Ooh, so we have standard now, huh? Child locks, so that's a nice feature if you wanna have your child on the front. Hmm, okay. Um, moving on from the dash. Now, these are touch sensors and these are for the AC, so cold and warm. These you can slide here for volume. If you wanna just do this or just press here or here for up and down volume. And this is for the co-passenger. Over here have shortcuts, so it's the assistance, menu, climate control, and here will be driving mode if you selected that. And this is the only physical button, the hazards, that you can see in the mirror. Still, I love that feature in German cars. Wish Japanese cars had that. Still, same um, features for the wipers, and then same for the lights here, for the assists, uh, long beam, stuff like that. And on the steering wheel, I've kind of... Uh, back when I said I'm gonna go back and forward. Horn test. It's a little bit uh, loud if you ask me. Um, okay, so this is the volume controls on your left side, plus and minus. Your cruise control, this is for the lane, this is for the speed limiter. Uh, reset, set, go up and down, and then the distance. It's pretty intuitive, I must say, and it really looks nice, uh, the graphics. I'm gonna cut in the screen. Uh, from driving part and this is for the infotainment uh, for the bubbles i'm going to show you that later that you can have view you can have voice commands and you can press here for uh station lists for the radios and this would be a heated steering wheel i think and forgot this blank one so um yeah that's it and just on the mirrors this is all electronic i wish you can lock here the rear mirror mirror i mean excuse me window and I wish there was like two separated buttons for each side, maybe like an Audi and now Skoda Octavia 4. Okay, um, going from the bridge down, to the main bridge from the top of the dash, uh, two USB-C chargers. Again, I wish there was one A, uh, but it's nice standard now. And even in life package, wireless um, charging for your phone. This is all rubber mat, so it's really nice. You can even put it like this, facing yourself, or you can put it down. Uh, it's really nice. Okay, so this big compartment, I'm not sure really for what is this. Uh, it's nice that you can pull it out and then clean it. Now, have a start up engine button, park, and then we have this beautiful DSG. It's not connected through wire anymore. It's just electronic, so it goes up and forward, back and forward. Uh, electronic parking brake, auto hold. And as mentioned, the nice, there is no piano finish anymore. Um, okay, sorry for the shake. Um, you can put your key to connect, I guess, here. This is adjustable cup holder. So I'm gonna take my bottle to show you. So this is nice, you know, it's actually a little smaller. I'm not advertising anyone. So this is just a random bottle. And if you press here, you can, you can grip it up and grip it here so it doesn't, you know, uh, wobble inside. And again, just huge bottle spaces and doors, really handy. So you do have a little light here. 12 volt charger is now here. Hmm, not sure why it's not facing the driver, but it doesn't matter really. What does matter is it doesn't have the shutter anymore. The Octavia 4 got that now and they've decided to remove it from the Golf. Why? I don't understand that. Armrest is still the same. You can extend it. Uh, you can have some levels, which I really love. Some Japanese cars don't have that, like Mazda. A little rubber compartment. Uh, on the bottom, you can still remove that, clean it. And then for your cables, you have this little... Uh, spots so if you put a cable here and you have I don't know a device charging you don't squash it with the armrest so um, okay let me show you my position so pretty fine here there's enough space for a tall person I even have more than enough knee room as you can see and 
uh, a driving position and the view around me is pretty good. You can see a little bit maybe the hood, depending how close I am. You can see the mirrors are excellent view behind you, uh, around you, uh, in the middle. And then the blind spot, if you turn, no blind spots. You can actually see their seat is not way back. And it's just excellent this is the view behind. So on the top, we have a white roof. I'm sure you can get a black one. Uh, later, we have the privacy uh, mirror with the LED light on the top. And then you can, of course, do this. Unfortunately, I saw that on the Passat, it can extend now. On the Golf, still no. Wish that was an option. And on the top, this is the new system for the lights. So this is touch sensitive. No. If I open the door, it comes on. And then if I press it, it goes off. Or, ah, see? It's sensing my fingers near, but I didn't touch it. See? And then I touch it and it's on. Yes, it has a little fingerprints, but doesn't matter. It's a cool feature. There's an emergency call here. You can um, turn these off when the doors are open or turn them on. And it's nice. You can just press here to turn your side. There's emergency, I guess, or information and, and call for the service if you get stranded on the road. Now, when you open the doors, you get a Volkswagen uh, greeting. But now I kind of didn't want to show that this way. There's an ambient light here, so we can open the doors and... Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you the screen. There's just, the car has only 1,000 kilometers on. Now, light switch. If you press here, you get the, I'm gonna put it like that, you get the uh, position lights off automatic. This is when the car is off. When you turn it on, it goes different. You can see here the light switches, depending on what you choose. And then you have the front fog lights, the rear fog lights, they're all LED. And then for the climate, here is the maximum below for the front. To the frost and press here to the frost the rear so that's that's different now okay this video is pretty long and detailed um mirror little frame doesn't matter it's black i like that uh in the dark so it's pretty good um so i don't see the button for auto dimming but i think auto dimming is the standard feature but for the both uh, side mirrors and the inside mirror and that's pretty much it i think it's time to turn on this car uh, there are some hikers passing, so um, 30 minutes is a long time. I know we've been waiting. See, the seat is coming forward to my driver position, set position. So this eliminates a little bit yellowish, parking, auto hold, uh, and then the automatic. Now, this is just electronics on. The engine is not on, so that's why this check light is here. It goes off when the engine starts. Light switch goes on. Watch it again. So this is the main light on, automatic, oh, I mean position lights off, or uh, I'm just gonna put it to the automatic. So if you put it automatic, it's just, it turns lights here. Just leave it on auto. Sometimes it shows on the screen, sometimes it doesn't. Not really sure uh, how it works. And now on the screen, it looks so nice and crispy from the driver position. And even when you come closer with the eye, it looks okay. So. Now this is the fuel range, so there's no side indicators. So this is your fuel range. It says like in kilometers. And there's like a little white and then it's red for the river reserve. I think it would be all white if I've, you know, um, fueled the car. Uh, lane could be shown in the side and kilometers. This is your driving uh, data since start. Consumption is pretty good, actually, five liters. It was less, five, five and a half. Uh, turned our car late before it's filming just for a short so it went up now um, so ACC deactivated now it's active so you can see on the bottom when I press this the cruise control turns on and then um, look at this it works now this is so nice if you hold it, it just went up it's it's such a nice feature and such nice graphics I love this then for the cruise control, you can see the screen here. You can change that. I mean, it'll be amazed it works here. Uh, please check gear selector. Okay, these stuff when your gears on, it comes on. Uh, okay, so uh, volume. Actually, I'm here where there's no reception. 
usually i'm gonna check i'm gonna show you the speakers later the stereo speakers are pretty good the uh, upgraded ones are even better okay views switch to the view you have this where you see the car and then you have this when you see the navigation if i come closer and camera is struggling a little bit sorry and if i press here you can see digital uh honestly i prefer the classic one to be honest and then if you press here you have kilometers you have road signs which there was no until now it usually shows it uh dates time uh, nothing and then driving data um uh, i like my speed in the middle and then this bubbles you can press here so you select the right one and then you have speed sorry if the screen is not focused i'm going to come a little closer so you use these buttons so you have speed acceleration compass uh distant information no display driving time average speed gear indicator fuel gauge navigation audio phone speed uh going again and then if you press ok then you have the menu here all this checked stuff is on this on the right side and all the not checked is on the left side but you can you know switch it if you want to um and then I'm going to close this, leave it as it was, and then you just press the left for the left bubble, and you have a gear selector, fuel gauge, add blue, assistance, operating temperature, driving distance, consumption, no display, settings. If you go to settings, it again shows you what I just explained a second ago. Um, okay, I think you need to select something. Okay, nothing. Um, again, just... I prefer something, so... This is interesting if you want to have the uh, assistant, you can see the drain of uh, the lane. Um, no, not that one again, sorry. Um, this is interesting. So your oil temperature is obviously important when you want to speed up. So don't rev your car fast if, you know, it's not warm up, especially the diesel cars. And it feels like this is too much information, honestly. So I'm just going to do gear indicator it just has makes sense for me um this is the seat bell warning on the bottom and i think much that's it um i got that information a few times in croatia i don't know why okay so because it's in the wrong road signs uh okay sorry this is really a long video in depth so as promised going to the main screen uh, also from the driver's position it really looks nice and it recognizes when you come closer you can see by this um because the, because of this uh, gimmick on the screen, see, it even shows you the scroll button when you come close. So there is a sensor here, noticing your hands here. Okay, so this is your main screen. This is your home button. Then you have here um, heated seats and your climate control. And if you press here this button, you have clocks. So this is the uh, analog. Uh, you know and kind of this looks nice and then you just press here to turn it back on so again these buttons if you want to control the ac this is how it looks um and i'm gonna leave it like this so let's see the voice commands i'm feeling hot sure it will get cooler at the front left shortly so you can see the temperature was changed and it recognizes that I'm sitting here uh, as a sensor when I'm sitting here now for the seatbelt. So it knows I'm sitting here, which is going to lower my side because this is a dual control dual. And I think this car has optional uh, three zone climate. Now, uh, if you want to control the climate, you press on the bottom. This illuminates white and you get this display. So over here, if you want to turn off the AC, you press on the top. Now it's off completely off now we have smart climate here but i need to turn it back on defog windows warm my feet that's a nice uh, option warm my hands so i think the engine needs to be on turn the engine on and i love this look at this so neutral reverse you get this uh, neutral drive and then if you press again you get speed i mean sport this is how it looks so this is reverse, neutral, drive, sport, doesn't show. I wish it was kind of switching to this one. 
and then the auto hall I'll, I'll eliminate to yellow press parking shuts off the engine as a start stop function now this is the climate again uh, this is the smart climate this is on the style on the life you don't get the smart climate so maybe it's an option um, here it seats you have to press here and you have three levels of course and let me just show you this when you come back if you want to press here it gets you into the climate control so it's nice and fast but it doesn't actually turn on the heat seater heats uh, seat heaters excuse me so my english is not my primary language it's croatian so um air condition uh settings these are their settings and pause if you want to read all of that um classic climate so we have here uh, this is the fan speed so you can have medium high or low and you can control it manually for here or just press here and then you have here front uh, bottom i mean front uh, bottom close the air circulation or open it um ac off or on and then you have this is now just ventilation then you have air care uh, so it kind of filters the dust and stuff like that it kind of spreads um, I like that but we're not, not gonna watch that and that's the information over here on the bottom so you can see what the function of the air care is and that's pretty much it so that was everything I'm gonna turn it off not to kill the battery so I'm stationary and the engine is not on so it's battery is not charging um, Okay, so we have phone. I haven't connected my phone, but you can have always emergency calls. So you can select the phone here uh, and then, you know, search for the phones. I haven't done that um, because I want I don't want my uh, phone kind of context to sync with a car. That's a test car. Um, this is always your home button. Now on the top you have here connection. This is like private and you have users. You can create your own user, your settings, uh, and then uh, play with that. Uh, so you have these features uh, you can become a primary user uh, so you can create you know if you have a family you can connect uh, more users create more profiles and then you can pull this menu this is like a shortcut and then here's your screen brightness um, and then on the top you have this so this is how much uh, information you want to share with Volkswagen um, and kind of assist the other drivers I think now this is our start systems off or on um, home if you want navigation I'm not going to do that it brings you to navigation it's a shortcut this is the maps it's nice it's crispy graphics uh, fast uh, we're kind of in a low signal zone so that's might experience a little bit of lag but it works pretty good uh, route guidance um, route options uh, you can avoid here tools or motorways um stuff like that yeah um okay so those are the details if you buy the car um you know you can you can buy these um and play with those uh, i'm just showing them you just pause if you want to see uh these are all the functions you can see there's just a lot of them um so i'm not gonna go through each one of those again if you press navigation go back to this this is your map this is suggestions uh details lists uh you can press here i mean type i think there's maybe even a drawing option but a little preview of the navigation with 3d buildings that's nice that's it that's the maps uh, again this is your home uh, button on the top um you have two dots so the second screen with some information about the car and then um you have here bright or light theme so this is a dark excuse me uh and then you have a bright if i come here uh if i go to i don't know radio media this is all the white it looks really nice at the beginning i thought this was uh, cheap it looks like an android phone but it really looks nice i must say um so let me see if I um, can find a station. I want to show you the speakers. Do it, do 
to mute this but um, someone put the bass on the top so you have here radio announcements voice con voice control adjust uh, just according to speed and all that stuff and then you have here you can focus on the driver uh, whatever you want or you can recenter you have your volume uh, that's what I showed you menu buttons touch screen buttons you can have clicks and this is how it looks bright I'm gonna go back to the dark it's good it looks better everyone likes dark mode uh now the car turned on i guess and well, let me see here that is off uh doesn't matter now the consumption is going to go high but it doesn't matter um shop we have apps um i had had in the set of main profile so it doesn't work vehicle um data so nice avatars um 5.7 since start, long term 6.5 since refueling 6.5. Or 2.0 diesel, excellent. I think this will get even lower. Um, status about the car, start stop. So it's deactivated. It's on, tire pressure. It looks like this. You can set it, it's already set. Uh, service intervals. Uh, you can see all of that. My press service position if you want to put the wipers in this position so i can change them or just put them back and a vehicle so here have exterior you have mirrors so synchronous adjustment uh lower in the reverse gear full in uh, one lock and uh, also i put position for the service comfort uh, locking uh tires again Whoa, 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 tires so yeah you have here your warning at of the winter tires it's 190 for this set of tires uh, mirrors fold when locking uh, I already show that excuse me headlights um, dynamic light assist cornering lights automatic headlight control in rain covering turn sync convenient turn signals right hand traffic um and interior you have cockpit so echo tips i don't want those uh you can reset here since um interior lighting so you can have it this is the ambient lights so this is a um, you can also switch here to bright or dark and seats and driver seat comfort entry function you can turn it off or on and and that's it for the vehicle so we have here app connect as mentioned you need a cable someone already used that use apple carplay okay i'm gonna cut this in so i was wrong apple carplay and android auto are available without cable okay so what i've skipped is the phone now if you have your phone connected um now you need to switch your mobile phone either to select a phone um, and it's either connected to Apple CarPlay or it's your phone so it can be both I assume and if you're using Apple CarPlay you go in here switches on it scrolls so um, you can use you know the settings here Google Maps or you can go to Waze which is convenient because it has alert for traffic cameras and speed traps. If you want to exit, you can press here or there's the Volkswagen app. And something I forgot to show you in the sounds is the bass. You can always play here, treble and everything and reset it here. And another thing that I think I forgot is the settings. Uh, you here have languages, so there are multiple languages. Pause if you want to see if yours on the list. And that's it. You can choose voice, either female or male, for the navigation. And you have here units. And this car has Wi-Fi, so you can connect to Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, and it's pretty cool. I'm really impressed with the new Golf 8. And this system is pretty 
uh, fairly easy to use and nice has a nice graphics I would even say nicer than the new Skoda Octavia 4 just a little bit nicer and uh, I, I suggest you scroll in the middle like this if you press on the apps it's gonna go into the app legal information uh, blah 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 we're not gonna watch that um, brightness uh, over here is the infotainment uh, color for the you can choose brightness and for the ambient lights you can really see them because it's daytime but depending on what you choose you get this colors you can personalize what you like you can turn it all off you can individually uh, select here and then in the individual uh, you choose here what you want on the style you get these two extra and then you can play with the colors here you know uh, what do you what do you like what do you prefer uh, and brightness here for the each color for the illumination um, for the top lines the bottom lines so uh, it's all nice yeah so I have your mouse here again setting slight effects I think that's on and then I'm gonna change the color honestly I don't like it give me give me the excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me right I'm just gonna leave it to the blue one and then it's kind of relaxing for me honestly um, uh, assists is the last so this car has standard in golf you get lane assist uh, radar sign recognition and pause brake and then this car has an extra blind spot uh, rear traffic alert um, you can see here what we have um, these are the settings and so speed warning visual are off warning over you can put like encourage there's a 10 percent tolerance so it's like almost 10 kilometers um side assist um acc cruise control and lane assist steering vibration active press here it goes back to the menu either of this things so I think you can even break down if you need to you know slow down um, and yeah these change depending on what your settings and I think show you the sound so this video is almost an hour long uh, I want to exit to show you the hood and help here I guess you get a wizard all the information how you can operate and customize stuff and you can get for the voice controls like uh how to use what you need to say and that's pretty much it and the last you have three dots here so you have a hand gesture so the sensor is right here you can have this shortcut so you have navigation you have vehicle information uh and then you have the uh you know radio phone and then if you go like this mobile it's connected information here user shop help and since start information long term uh since fulfilling stuff like that so it's pretty nice uh and and handy of course views you can have navigation here as mentioned and that's pretty much it so okay so uh the main thing i wanted to show you not to forget why i have my glasses on so these are my ray-ban glasses Again, not advertising anyone, this is just my choice. Now, these are polarized glasses, and I wanted to show you this because if you have a polarized glasses, uh, the screen is you can see through the screen, you can see through the lens, but watch this. Oh, you can't see. So, also, you can see, you can't see. So, this screens are polarized um, glass for the polarized glasses approved so they work without a flaw okay so uh just to turn on the actually i showed you that so this is gonna exit now and i'm gonna pop this so to show you the engine bay and wrap this up 
This video is almost an hour long, so. Um, okay, so no dampener anymore. Again, I'm not sure why they're saving money on that. Um, you have to use the little leg. And this is the new diesel engine, four cylinder, obviously. And there is no 1.6 anymore, it's just 2.0. Uh, everything looks the same um, and just drop it uh, when you open it push to the left and the lights are on now they're flickering before because it was on the sun and now it's not flickering you can see those uh, daytime running lights again I'm not sure why the inside light isn't uh, on I prefer that honestly but just, that's just me and I must say I've grown this design on the renders. It looked terrible, but now it looks so good, honestly. And I like how uh, the low profile, the hood goes down. It just looks so, you know, sexy. IQ lights, so this is how you know you have the matrix lights. Uh, you get the base LED lights. I think there's something between, but I forgot now, honestly. And, well, they're just daytime running lights. These are off. So, I know, I need to show you that as well. Because this is an in-depth review. I mean, actually, front, rear. I'm going to turn the front as well. Shut up, car. Okay, so you see the LEDs, really nice. Then you have, this is the fog, only the left side, and then you have the dynamic blinkers, turn signals. And, okay, so the middle light is the, hmm, is it? If I'm not mistaken, this little light is your fog light and we get this nice Volkswagen here a detail you notice there's no V on this because it's not tinted yeah, not out. okay you have even automatic long beam that I didn't know when you leave the lights on automatic now they're not on automatic. This is the long light. I just want to see for the fog. Long beam is on. So you can see this is a lot brighter now. So but the, still the LED light of there is on. Just to show you the car with the full lights on. How it looks looks pretty nice so that's it <laughs> those were all the look at the IQ lights oh, it just looks so nice but that's it that is everything you wanted to know there you go you get a little avatar leaving and then it shows you uh, you know, information, lights are back on automatic, and I love the new Golf, what do you think, how do you like the new Golf, tell me in the comments below, of course you can get the sun panel roof and all the other options, but you know, I think the life package is pretty good, but the style package will get a little more, and then you get these lights that are optional that look phenomenal. Now, okay, I'm wrapping this review. Now I'm going to put my camera on the top to film the point of view so you can see how it is to be behind the driver's uh, position and see how this car handles. So I'm not gonna talk, I'm just gonna drive it. And so you can hear all the noises from the engine and everything on the road. And then when the night falls, I'm gonna do my in-depth review of the driving part the handling the feeling how this car performs on the road and you're going to see the ambient lights and the car in the dark there's going to be a b-roll video a little bit exterior shots details inside and in the night so make sure to subscribe to this channel click the little bell to get notifications 
so you wouldn't miss that uh, those videos and if you like this in-depth review share this channel with your friends so i can get more subscribers it really helps um, the more subscribers and the more views i get i guess i'm gonna cut this in somewhere so you're wondering can you still use the all windows down yes you can and the back window goes almost down just to this point and then you press lock again and all the windows go up so yes it works okay this is my iphone camera a little bit better camera at night so this is the normal and then this is the long beam in person i can see even more um, but this is the top camera technology at the moment and then if you turn you have the led uh, side corner lights that turn on or off Okay, everyone, I'm gonna cut this in. So this is the night interior. Uh, you can turn on the lights, as you can see, but I prefer without. Um, you have nice ambient lights, but you have everything illuminated in white. So all the uh, buttons and the dials. And, but you have on and off illuminated here, but no AC or volume controls for some reason. I'm not sure why. And then this is white. Could have wished this was you know just like this or there should be a shutter here for some reason uh, i don't know what Volkswagen did there but everything else looks really really uh nice and of course on the back you have the same ambient lights this illuminates back and forward you can turn it on it's really 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 great and also just a little preview this is uh night time so leds of course uh, you have your dynamic Turn signals, the car is on the ignition, so uh, you get the LED lights are amazing. These are the middle, so these are the top LEDs. You can get base LEDs and matrix. And then you get also these from the side mirrors and both door handles. So it looks pretty dope to me. Massive thanks to these guys, Porsche Zagreb uh, Jankumir. A Volkswagen uh, for lending me cars if you're looking for a new car in Croatia you know where to look and to wrap it up uh, I hope you liked the new Golf leave your comments below in the comment section and give this video a like I'm gonna see you in the next one stay safe on the road as always I'll see you in the next one bye